Hi. Hi Molly, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm great, thank you. So thank you for joining us this evening. Um, I've just got a couple of questions that I'd like to ask you. Um, so what is it like being a student at Hugh Bay College? Well, from personal experience, I I really did enjoy doing the course here, yeah, not only because like it's just it's so rewarding. But there's always like 24 seven support whenever you need it. And I feel like that's just such an important thing when you're on such like such a high in demand course that, you know, you need you need lots of help on because it can be challenging us sometimes. But it is really rewarding and it is really enjoyable as well. That's great to hear. So can you tell us what your favourite topic was that we studied? Oh, God, I've got a few. <laughs> yeah. I bet, do you know what I did like safeguarding and I know it's it's there's more complex things and there's more like it's interesting in itself and there is more interesting courses but it's because you just use it so much like in any job you go into no matter if it's like a care work job or anything you are you're going to use safeguarding a lot in your day-to-day -day life and it's important to have that knowledge so I just found it really interesting and enjoyable to know how I can use this knowledge and you know interact it into my day-to-day -day life and um, placement molly how did you find placement where was it and, and did you enjoy it i loved my placement um <laughs> so i done my placement in a local care home just around around the corner from mine um and we just done so many different things like like you know a system with feeds um yeah it, like helping them with their movements, keeping the brain engagement going by playing games, puzzles, taking them for walks. Mm -hmm. I, I, at even one point, I remember I sent, I showed you, you know, I was dressed as an ice cream lady, <laughs> just pushing ice cream, you know, just making it a bit more enjoyable. And as I said, like previously, it is just so rewarding because just knowing you've done that little thing, it does, you know, makes you feel a bit better that you made someone else's day that bit better as well. I remember the photographs well. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do you think of the environment in Hubert College that you're learning? Um, it's just really positive. Like, I can't really put a fault on it, on it to be honest. Like, soon I, I was never a morning where I woke up and I was like, "Oh, I can't be bothered going to college right now. It's just so draining." I was always just interested and happy to just go in, and then you know, just be like, "Oh, what am I going to learn today? Or oh, what's today going to have on have on the agenda?" Like, it was always just just a really positive and you know friendly atmosphere that just made you want to learn more and it engaged you a lot more. That's lovely to hear. And what other additional things did you get to learn? Things that weren't in the qualification, but extra skills. I want to say communication and confidence. But I know communication links into healthcare as well. Um, but my confidence skills and honestly, yeah, my communication skills. Because before I started this course on college, I was so shy. I had I had no confidence whatsoever. And then as soon as you just go into it, you meet these new people and the you get taught how to use different forms of communication and I don't know, like going into especially the care home and standing up and doing group tasks engaging more and doing more practical work like your confidence just grows so much more and I feel like that's always an important skill to have it is you're absolutely right and here you are on a live event I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what about your lessons themselves how are they were they boring lessons note taken you tell me um obviously different lessons range from others because you've got some lessons where you are just taking notes, but obviously it's important to take notes to help you fade along with your assignments, um, which I learned. <laughs> um, and but like all lessons, you get some lessons where you're like, oh, because you you obviously have like um, you know more units that you're more interested in the others, but it's all a part of the course, so you have to just keep an open mind with it. But as far as lessons go, if I ever had a problem, I was always speak to whom you teach what and, and say listen, I'm not really engaging in this or I'm not really understanding this as the way we can incorporate more practical work or more theory work or, you know, just engaging as a group because me personally, I understand and take in information better when I'm active and I'm doing it rather than note-taking. And if I ever had a problem with that, it was always changed for me. So 
can't fault it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. So what about interactive lessons as well? We, did you have more lessons where um, there was different technologies being used? I'm thinking of the clinic and the simulation suite and things oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. We had many, many lessons in the clinic. And again, like this... I found the clinic really, you know, fun and interesting. And I was so engaged in the clinic because we learned things, you know, like basic first aid, CPR, patient observations, like stuff that was also help you in your placement. But again, in day to day life, you don't know when you're going to need to use first aid or CPR and just getting that knowledge to help you. And then like the clinic is such like, it's it's just so nice for the college to offer something like that because I know not most colleges offer like an in clinic in the college and I feel like we were quite lucky to have that to have all of you know the equipment and that there for us to actually use and practice on instead of just learning about it yeah no that's great thanks very much Molly so if you were to give any advice to a, a student that's listening to us now what what would that be don't be nervous <laughs> don't think don't listen to everything that you've heard today and think oh this sounds like you know you hear all these big words and you're like oh this sounds like a really demanding course and really you know higher up there and I, oh I don't think I can do this you can do it because I definitely thought that when I was applying for level three health and social care I thought am I going to be able to do this and then you know I came out fine absolutely fine you know getting into uni and stuff like this and getting the grades and needs and there's always help if you're feeling you know a bit you know let down or you know a bit set back and stuff there's always 24 7 around the clock as you probably know Tina me <laughs> messaging you at like 11 at night asking for help Tina will always help you all the other teachers will always help you <laughs> um so I have another question how long have you wanted to work in the health and social care sector um I, I forever like I've just I've always been that kind of person who's quite you know caring and cares a lot for other people's you know physical and emotional well-being and I've always wanted to incorporate that into my career in the future which is what hopefully I'm going to do um I don't know it's just it is just a very rewarding thing to do and I've just I've all, I can't even give you a time Tina I've always just wanted to, to help people <laughs> no that's amazing it's in your blood it is so, what is next for you what's what's your next step so currently i am doing training for a ward assistant role um in entry hospital which i don't think i would have done if i didn't do health and social care because i would not have had a clue how to do it um and hopefully you know just work for a few years get a bit more experience on me back and eventually apply for uni to go and do midwifery go and do a midwifery degree and you know deliver babies <laughs> <laughs> sounds amazing molly so in terms of students who are worried about whether health and social care is for them could you give them some advice on how they would choose this sector over another sector maybe it or art and design um i would say just you know have a look around and speak to people who have done the course in the past and you know go around and experience different things try and maybe volunteer you know volunteer in I don't know on a ward in in a, in a care home see if you can volunteer obviously if you're of age you know it's a bit harder if you're not 18 but I mean it's kind of, I understand it's harder to get a bit more knowledge behind it because obviously you can't be old enough for all different volunteering roles but Honestly, I'd just say, just, you know, go and try and get some experience and different things and see what you enjoy more. Try and weigh up the different different scenarios. Do I want to help people or do I want to sit and do IT? Do you, know, you know what I mean, Tina? I can't put it into words. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. 